Hello beauties! Welcome back to Beauty Within, where we chat about all things skincare, self-care, and healthy living to find our beauty within. <laughs> Premature wink, but... <laughs> and today we wanted to share with you some of our new finds from K-Beauty and J-Beauty. J-Beauty, which is something... Yes, that we never really talk about yes. and they're so, what do you call it? Underrated. Yes! This brand may look familiar because it's been around for a while. And yes, because we know there's so many different places where you can research, find different products. We recently came across a new store called Plump Shop that offers all these different kind of Asian beauty brands for skincare and you know how a lot of you ask like is it authentic especially from like Amazon or eBay you never know so we can certify that this is all like the authentic skincare and we picked the brands that we were most interested in trying out like for example this one I saw it maybe more than 10 years ago when yeah. I first went to Japan same yeah. it was what I got we talked about this in like a video years ago mm. when I did come back from Japan this was one of the top brands to try and then there's um, a brand called Pure Heel, Medi Heel, and these are more the K Beauty, which we think after trying it, definitely so excited to share with you guys. And with all that being said, thank you so much to Plump Shop for sponsoring this video. They're offering an exclusive 25% off site wide, and you can get free shipping over $40. Yay! So let's get into some of the products because there are some good ones. So first starting off with the brand Pure Heels. This one is super exciting for us because yes. it's like nature's way of healing and soothing the skin. This actually reminds me of Peach and Lilies because it's great for people with sensitive skin and it's formulated for people with sensitive skin. It's just like an earthier, more naturey version. Less it's millennial. Like a, it's like a twin. <laughs> <laughs> so much like a lot of the Korean brands that we're familiar with, like I'm from Impurito, Pure Heal has six lines dedicated to a single ingredient. There's propolis, there's centella, there's ginseng berry, volcanic rock, charcoal, as well as galactomyces. And that one reminds me of Purito. So first of all, if you guys don't know the love for Propolis already, Propolis is great for all skin types. It's like a great gentle and subtle brightening ingredient yes. for the skin. I thought this was gonna be a lot more goopy because of the Propolis serums and the toners that we're used to, but this is so watery. Mm. It reminds me of the Peach and Lily's Wild Dew Essence. It's like water, your skin just drinks it up. It actually has 13 types of botanical oils and the key ingredients are niacinamide, propolis extract, a little bit of lactic acid, salicylic acid, adenosine, aloe leaf extract and tea tree leaf oil. All like majority of these ingredients are so great, especially for combination, yes. oily and dry. So for my dry skin, propolis has always been a very like softening, glowy, like subtly glowy serum that just works beautifully on my skin and finding it in toners. This reminds me a lot of the Sun By Me Yuja mm. as well as the Cosrx propolis. Mm. So even though the Yuja is very different, it still has like that subtly brightening effect and then the Cosrx Propolis Toner. I think it's the most similar to this. And for my drier skin, I can put many, many layers of this. Mm. My skin just drinks it up. Okay, so that one is the toner. Moving on to a mask, which is something that we haven't talked about for a really long time, but it basically blew our little minds away when we used it. So when I first got it, I was like, Centella 65 Green Tea Pack. So you know how like we've tried a lot of products? I was like, oh, this looks like a minty clay body mask. shop clay mask. Yeah but it is nothing like that at all. Like I didn't read into the ingredients before. That. Yeah. We just kind of like used it at night, not really, you know, thinking it was like a soothing centella mask. Yeah. But then afterwards, when I washed it off, I was, I was like, why is my skin so bright and why is it so soft and why is it so clear? Yeah. It was an experience that I have not had for a really long time because you know personally I think my favorite clay mask is the fresh Umbrian clay mm. which also leaves it very like soft and supple and stuff but this was a brightening effect like better than that and like no other so then going into the ingredients afterwards after proving it's 
like effectiveness. You can find there's Kaolin clay, Centella asiatica, there's aloe leaf, there's also Camellia sinensis, which is green tea, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, but at a really probably low percentage because you don't feel any sort of tingling at all. But on top of that, which makes I think this great for all skin types is the fact that it has a bunch of nourishing oils. There's macadamia, there's avocado, there's olive fruit, there's also propolis extract, rice bran extract. And as people with drier skin types, Kaolin clay is actually great because it's the less drying of the other clays out there, like bentonite and... Bentonite on Rowena would be like, she would mummify. <laughs> <laughs> and I think another thing that I associate with most clay masks nowadays is that they tighten over time, but this just stays on like a... I think it depends on how thick you you put the layer, right? Because then, yeah, it will stay like a mud mask pack. Yeah. Whereas I think I like put it on a little thinner and then it does kind of like soften. But there's um, little chunks of green tea yes. in there. <gasps> That's the little chunks that you see. Yeah. So anyway, I honestly rate this 10 out of 10 <laughs> just out of pure shock of how clarifying it was, truly clarifying. Okay, so then our other fave from the Pure Heels line is this is the Centella 90 Ampule. And there's 90% Centella Asiatica as well as aloe leaf water and niacinamide as well as sodium hyaluronic. Dude, it's an ampule, but it is like a glass gel. Oh. It is beautiful. And then you thought you gave me a lot, right? Yeah. And it spreads everywhere, but it just sinks. It finishes like a toner. Oh, oh, it's matte. Yeah, there's no oily residue, like a serum sometimes leaves. It's wow. like... <laughs> I'm so impressed with Pure Heels, I can hardly deal with it myself. <laughs> so those are our three faves from Pure Heels. Now that we've kind of dug our little fingers into it, I want to like explore more, so excited. Let's move on to Medi Heel. Medi Heel, another heel. So many heels today. You know, the first time I heard of Medi Heel was when I went to Korea with our friends. Mia was like, hey, we should get Medi Heel because that's what everyone's talking about. I'm like, Medi Heel, like medical heel, <laughs> you know? And I saw it, I was like, heel, oh no, H E A L. I was like, oh, heel, okay. It looks and sounds so clinical yeah. that I was like, okay. But yeah. when I tried it, oh my God, this is one of the best selling sheet masks in Korea for a reason. The whole brand. The whole brand. And this is the one that I've been raving about for the past couple of years. And the specific one, I think this is one of the OGs with the little two pack. It's like a moisturizer. Yeah. You can only get this at like Lotte duty free. So just, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> yes. But we're excited because as you can see here, there are a ton because they really do specialize in masks. And the one that Ro just mentioned, <laughs> they have one now that has a break capsule. Ooh. It's a two step and it's a 40 minute mask that will blow your dry skin away to smithereens. <laughs> Why didn't you give it to me? I swear I did because I was trying to find it here as well. But which one did you try out of these? I tried the hydration. So starting with their NMF, Intense Hydrating Mask. NMF stands for a natural moisturizing factor and it is composed of humectants, lipids, amino acids, sugars, minerals, as well as peptides to keep your moisture barrier healthy and happy. And this mask can help deliver deep hydration within 15 minutes of using it. Mm -hmm. So the thing with this specific mask, and I think with most of many healed products, is that they don't have any of those like millennial ingredients. Yeah. You know what I, like this, they don't have those like superstar, like this is the ingredient that we're putting in like all of our products. Like some random fruit. Yeah. I personally appreciate how they just stick to the basics, like glycerin, mm -hmm. right? Or like panthenol. And I think this is born from the fact that the brand itself is made up of like aestheticians and dermatologists to really weigh in on what actually is proven to work. And I love how the mask itself absorbs most of the serum yes. so that it doesn't leave much in the pack. Yes! And you can easily pour it out and then slather it on top of the mask once you put it on your face. And the great thing before getting into the actual formulation of it is that there's a pressed on logo indicator that when the mask dries, the MediHeal logo shows up. So that's when you know that it's time to take it off. Dude, that is why I feel if you want a face mask that actually works and is far superior to like many other masks on the market, that's the little things that make them stand out. It's like the mask itself absorbent 
and the fact that it's got like a self timer. Yeah. Yeah. So very similar, like all the masks do very similar things. Number one is hydrating the skin, right? It acting as a serum in your skincare routine. The only difference maybe between these two is that this one's got a little bit of that vitamin C derivative, which acts as the supporting factor to collagen production. But one thing to note is that if you ever see collagen or hydrolyzed collagen in the ingredient list, collagen applied topically to the skin is not going to actually create collagen. <laughs> You need things like vitamin C, which will help to synthesize collagen and elastin production because it can, you know, go into the skin cells itself. So that's more of a marketing thing, but I appreciate that they didn't have that in here. Yeah. They rely Ooh. on what actually works. So, you know, appreciate that. There's also a tea tree version as well as a charcoal whitening mask mm -hmm. that I feel like the foundation of these masks all feel the same. It's just there are certain ingredients in there that they change for the different effects or yeah. for like the different benefits. And then the other one, which I was talking about, which has a separate yes. capsule. Okay, so you put that one on. Wait, 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 walk me through how you do it. What do you do before you put it on? I don't know, actually, you, you open it <laughs> yes. and then? <laughs> the thing is, I had to read through the instructions. You know, like masks, you're just like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this one I'm like, wait, what do I do? Do I Google. squeeze the thing into the mask? You know how some of them is like a dry sheet? Oh, but it's oh, not like it's that. the two part thing. Yes, the two part. Ah, oh, yes, yes, um, yes. Okay, so there's the mask. You rip that open, put it on, and it says leave it on for 40 minutes. And I was like, wow, that's a really long time. So I personally left it on for about 25 minutes. You know, did my thing, like had some tea, whatever, <laughs> watch my shows. And then when you feel that it's kind of like drying out a little, you take it off and they give you a separate serum which you then apply so it's like two step I put that on after using this one and then <laughs> it was like the glowiest happiest skin in the world and I think you have to try it because it truly traps in and like feeds and injects the skin with moisture and the mask itself is like that coconut gel one Ooh. yeah it's not coconut but it's the same feeling where it's like skin it's just like <laughs> If you're dealing with irritation or just like uneven, like, whoa, that will really heal you back to life, I tell you. So that's that one. Now, moving on to Sekiset, this was one of the top requested brands when I was looking up things when I visited Kyoto with my parents. And Japanese is known for their drugstore brand. So this is actually a brand you can get at the drugstores. It's actually so overwhelming. Oh my it's God. It's like rows and rows. And then on next to this, you'll have like SK2. Yeah. <laughs> but this has been like a tried and true kind of through the ages, withheld the test of test time. time. <laughs> and it's interesting because the ingredients that they use are exactly that. They use traditional, like Chinese, Korean, Japanese, herbal ingredients, which you can ingest yeah. as well. We'll first give you a lowdown of their signature ingredients and then just go straight into the products and talk about the texture, what we feel, how, how we, we like them. Like it. Yeah. yeah. So to start, there's the Coke Seed Extract, also known as Jobs Tear and Pearl Barley. It is a very popular ingredient for drinks yeah. in Asia. It's naturally rich in antioxidants and there's also niacinamide in it. And combined, it helps to subtly brighten the skin as well as moisturize. And then there's angelica extract, which is a root which is rich in antioxidants, which also helps to promote things like photo aging. And this is also what helps with providing that snow-like luminous glow for what hydrated healthy skin should look like. Next is Melothria extract. Not much information is known about this specific ingredient, except that it's rich in antioxidants. And according to Sekisei, it moisturizes and creates a translucent glow on the skin. And then on top of these traditional ingredients, there's also peony bark as well as apricot oil. So very nourishing, very safe and friendly for the skin. So as you guys know, we love the double cleansing method, which is why you always want to start off with a cleansing oil or balm. So they have one here. Tell us about it. So in here, the main Main oil ingredients is the coke seed that we mentioned earlier, as well as sesame oil and safflower oil. And I would say this is a pretty standard cleansing oil, and it washes off kind of with that more milky texture. Also, does not sting the eyeball. Bing. Okay. What we're more interested in, truly, is the topicals. Yes. So let's start off with this one. This is the lotion, and in Japan, they call the lotion. 
basically a toner, yeah. right? Because it is a toner and this, much like this one, probably even more so, is like water to the face. Mm. You just keep applying it. So the first time that I used this, I actually kept layering like three to four because it just keeps drinking it up and it doesn't leave it oily because I was I wanted to test how much I could apply before it started feeling tacky or mm -hmm. sticky and it just didn't. Mm -hmm. And then after the third or fourth, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to the emulsion, what is an emulsion? I think it really does sit between a serum and a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. It is a very, very lightweight moisturizer, mm -hmm. but I feel like it has the properties similar to a serum. And according to the brand, it helps prevent melanin production and freckles, as well as dark spots and dry skin caused by UV rays. Because mm. I think most of the herbal ingredients are so high in antioxidants that it could help with stuff like that. I just yep. remember reading about it online. I was like, freckles, sun, UV damage, you are my person. Yes, it definitely does have more of those emollient kind of like oils, nourishing oils compared to this. It's definitely, uh, that is just a water, water. <laughs> toner. <laughs> yeah. So then this one, I think this is the one that we both had really high hopes for. We're like, ooh, it's called a souffle. We love the banana souffle. Yeah. So let's try this. And it's definitely very different to the Glow Recipe banana souffle. I think this is tailored towards oily skin. Yeah, so it's not enough for Rowena, but if you have combination to oily skin or even really oily skin, oh my God, this will be a game changer for you. Oh. I like don't know how to describe it, but it's very fluid and you spread it all over your face because it just glides. And then it's like a skin-like finish. It just sinks into your skin without leaving any oily residue and it's it's like moisturized but not too much and it's probably just right for me mm -hmm. and this one is definitely more of a moisturizer so this one is the emulsion mm -hmm. and you can see when it goes onto your skin it's already kind of translucent and clear and this is the souffle yes beautiful so moving on to this one the gel cream so I initially just completely put it aside because I was like, oh, it's not for me, it's a gel cream. But when I read into the products, I was like, oh, it's actually one of the more hydrating creams that they have. So I did try it out. I would say after putting literally the emulsion and the souffle and this on that, it did work pretty well and my skin did feel pretty protected. Yeah. But <laughs> that's a lot of products. <laughs> it's a lot of products. How did these two compare? You put these two on side by side. Yeah, this one sank to that like just skin finish where it doesn't feel like you have anything on. This one surprisingly, cause you know, like you said, gel predominantly for like oilier skin was actually the more oilier, nourishing, glowy, glowy yeah. moisturizer. And when you say oily, it's not like sticky, oily, no. dripping. It's just like glow. Yeah, it offered that kind of dewy. Dewy, yeah. Dumpy dewy. Dumpy dewy. This one I would recommend for like dry combination mm -hmm. because it does le have that longer nourishing effect. Um, and I appreciate that this is the first brand that we've seen that comes with this little ring for you to put the little spatula next to it so you don't lose it. The other brand that I can think of, Tatcha does that too. Mm, also, on the top lid Japanese, thing. yeah. So guys, that is our review of some of the brands that we loved from the Plump Shop store. And they obviously have more products in the lines. These are just the ones that we were thankful to be able to try out and share with you guys because thought you'd love it. And remember you get free shipping over $40 and we got you guys the 25% off store wide. So use Beauty Within 25 for that. What's one thing you learned this week, Val? Now it's just a race to who asks who. <laughs> <laughs> I think this week, you know, when, when you get really busy, I think it's a good reminder just to take things day by day. Not that you don't have to think about the next day's worth of stuff you have to do and stress and worry that will always be there, but to kind of compartmentalize your brain and just deal with what's at hand and then just take it one step at a time without trying to move mountains. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday she left her notebook on my table. It's a bullet journal, like a weekly spread. I was gonna hand it back to her and it flipped open to a page yeah. that was basically blank and it just said, <laughs> what a week with a little line across like five days. It was a B. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, because, oh my gosh, you know, daily I write down the tasks that we need to do, but that week I just didn't even have time to tend to what I needed to do. It was just like, oh my God, just do it. You're like trying to get stuff done and nothing. That's when the bullet journal really helps, you know, because you need to be able to download it somewhere. So then at least you can see it and it helps with the stress. Um, otherwise it's all up here and then you forget stuff. And yeah, that was a, you know, some weeks are just crazy. Some weeks aren't. So day by day. Day by it. day is the answer. Same with skincare, take it day by day. Yes. So if you have any additional questions about anything, leave them below and we will see you very soon in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Bum Shop. Ha, 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 ha.